this beautiful neighborhood by 2050 two-thirds of the world's population 6.2 billion people may live urban lives cities currently house over 54 percent of the world's population that number is expected to increase to around 59 percent by 2030 with the increase of housing and industrial development cities and communities dramatically increase consumption and waste <clears throat> last year all the world's nations combined pump nearly 38.2 billion tons of carbon dioxide into the air from the burning of fossil fuels such as coal and oil. These emissions are harmful to the environment. Carbon emissions contribute to climate changes which can have serious consequences for humans and their environment. <laughs> Now look at what some people have to live in. These conditions aren't safe nor sustainable for anyone. Normally things would stay the way they are, but for the low donation of $10 a month, we will make a difference. By 2030, we plan to ensure access for all to adequate, safe, affordable housing and basic, basic services and upgrades loan. Along with housing, people obviously need transportation. But wait. <laughs> we will provide access to secure, affordable, easily accessible, and renewable transport systems for everyone which would improve road safety, notably by expanding public transport. To reduce environmental impact of cities, we can give attention to air quality and municipal waste management by furthering the implications of things such as sustainable urban agricultural hydroponics.